how did you come to that answer when looking how can I change the world how did you reduce it or or distill it to that that's a great question um I guess you know my own relationship with my children um is kind of my living laboratory for life you know I feel and I came to parenthood quite late and I always wanted to be a parent. Like from I was a young child, I knew that I wanted to be a mother. It was a real part of my identity, even from a very young age. And I was so delighted and thrilled to, you know, get pregnant so easily and have two healthy boys at quite a late stage. I had my first kid at 39 and my second one at 41. So, but a few years in, I started to really struggle with my own emotional reactivity. You know, I met a part of myself that I'd never seen before and that, quite frankly, scared me, Mark. You know, a part that was able to rage, to roar at these kids, to yank them by the hand, to, you know, to treat them like that. And um, I kind of didn't know where that came from. And it certainly, it was like I was being at times, it wasn't the flavor of our relationship, but it was enough that I didn't like it and it didn't sit with me. It was like I was being on the outside at times, not who I was on the inside. You know, it was like there was this mismatch. And, you know, I would go to bed sometimes at night and just cry my eyes out, Mark, honestly, and say, you know, why why am I being like this? What's wrong with me? How can I how can I behave like this around the two people that I love the most in the whole world? It's it's crazy. And I ended up um, coming across I did an NLP course. And on that NLP course, it was the first time ever I learned about the unconscious. That's the first time ever I was introduced to this idea of our unconscious and how 95% they say of our behavior is driven by our unconscious. So, and that was where I started to say, okay, there's, there's something in my unconscious that is triggering me. And again, I didn't have that word trigger back then, um, that is triggering me to behave in this way. And I'm, and I'm not being who I want to be. And there's a, as I say, that mismatch. And I went on this whole then journey of kind of discovering conscious parenting and gentle parenting and responsive parenting and all of that, and then bringing that into my own relationship with my children. And and through that, understanding the difference that it makes to our children and their evolving sense of self by how we relate to them, that, that was a, a massive thing. So it's like, I am shaping them I'm shaping their worldview I'm shaping their understanding of and their model of relationship and their model of love by how I relate to them and it's incumbent upon me to manage myself and to grow myself up um, in order to be able to show up in that relationship with them in a way that supports their flourishing, I guess. So it was kind of all of that realization of, of that impact, the massiveness of that impact, um, you know, and of creating that model. And that's why I say that's how we change the world, because how we relate to our children and how we love our children becomes their model for relationship. And that's really, really important because if our children have a model of relationship that is that they are seen, they are heard, they're validated, they're loved unconditionally, um, they are given a voice that their opinion matters, that they're considered, that they're empowered, that's the model they take into their adult lives. And that's the model then that they adopt in their lives, or they're more likely to, which A means that that's what they demand of other people because that's how they expect to be loved because that's how they have been loved. But it's also then how they embody love and how they show up. And then that ripples on and on and on because that's how they show up with other people and that's how they will parent their children. And, and that's, it's like, it's massive. It's how, and that's to say why genuinely I believe that how we love our children is how we change the world.